Eye Glaucoma Presents Surgical Gonioscopy Tips for Success with a Corza Hands Free Gonio Prism. Video sponsored by Corza Medical. Hello, my name is Dr. Constance Okeke. I'm a glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon and an avid user of mixed technologies. I recently started trialing the Corza Hands Free Gonio Prism and have had a great experience using it. In this video, I'd like to share with you some pearls to help make your learning curve even faster and highlight some really helpful aspects of the prism that can enhance your view during angle surgery. When you first use the hands-free gonio prism, your first inclination is to place it on the eye with your bare hands, like you would a gonio prism with a handle. When using any gonio prism, you must use viscoelastic on the corneal surface to aid in the clear angle view and to allow for easy rotation of the prism without scratching the corneal surface. Or, in an even more efficient manner, is that it can be easily done after the bare prism is placed on the cornea without having to lift it up off the cornea and just place the viscoelastic under the lens as seen here. For someone who is novice to angle surgery, whether as a resident or a comprehensive cataract surgeon new to MIGS, a common error that occurs is heavy pressure of the handheld gonio lens on the corneal surface, resulting in corneal folds, egress of viscoelastic, and thus a poor view. This is due to the inexperience with using the dominant hand for such an important role of maintaining the angle view. Some of the top benefits that I have found utilizing this lens is that it really allows for a great, clear, and wide view of the angle structures as a gonio lens itself. Another great benefit is the reduction of external pressure on the corneal surface because the hands-free gonio prism is able to float freely without the added weight of the hand holding it. Why is this important or useful? Because the less surface pressure allows the viscoelastic to stay in the eye longer, which aids in maintaining a great view. It also puts less pressure on the corneal surface, resulting in less corneal striae and a better visibility. This is a great tool for surgeons in training or new mix users because it allows you to have a clearer view longer, which is so needed in the early adoption phase. Also, the free floating ability allows you to gently push the lens from side to side so that you can treat an even wider field if needed. Let's look at the use of the hands-free gonio prisms in a case with a streamlined mix procedure. Here, you can see that the prism allows for an excellent view in high magnification. There is clear delineation of the angle anatomy to allow for the appropriate placement of the device on the trabecular meshwork. After engagement of the device and elongation of the microincision goniotomy, you can see the detail of the additional applications and the egress of viscoelastic within the Schlem's canal to exit from the prior goniotomy. A total of four applications were able to be made to complete the procedure without any need for additional application of viscoelastic in the anterior chamber while maintaining an excellent view. This again is in large part due to the light touch of the hands-free gonio prism and the lack of much egress of viscoelastic from the eye. Well, that's all the hands-free gonio prism tips for now. If you found benefit in that review of best practices and benefits for the Corza hands-free gonio prism, please like the video and share with colleagues. Also, stay tuned for part two of the Corza hands-free gonio prism tips for success. Are any of you watching interested in adopting a new mix procedure? Would you be interested in discovering the top three challenges ophthalmology surgeons face when it comes to starting a new mix? If you answered yes and yes, your feedback is needed. I'm conducting an anonymous survey about the process of adopting a new mix procedure. I'm looking to get at least 200 responses for the survey and would love if ophthalmologists in this group who are looking to adopt a new mix procedure can participate. The survey takes less than three short minutes to complete and I'm happy to share the results once I've collected the numbers needed. Thanks so much. The link in the description box below. We hope this video will help on your journey to surgical success with angle surgery. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new glaucoma innovation videos. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place for glaucoma innovation made easy for eye care professionals.